everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. This week's theme is feelings, and we're also starting our Valentine activities. In our Science and Exploration Center, we are talking about how we feel, and I created this printable, this matching printable, where the children can match up the different emotions, embarrassed, happy, sad, surprised, etc. And I also have, um, it's a how do you feel chart where it shows all of the children together on one page. And you can use this, if you'd like to use this in your classroom, you can use this as a coloring page as well. This would be something if a child is feeling, is acting out, you can hand them the piece of paper and say, which one, how do you feel? And they can color in that child. And so I have a link to these printables in the description. And then I also propped up a mirror. It says, I have just a little card where it says my face looks, and then they can look in the mirror and say, how, how does your face look? Do you look happy? Do you look sad? So this is a fun little um, quiet area where the children can explore their feelings. In our block area, I have found a lot of different red pieces and this fun, thick red foil that I put on top of our train table. And it's an invitation for the children to build using all different types of red pieces. I've got the red arch blocks, the red window blocks, the red translucent blocks and cubes, and then our red wooden blocks. In our dramatic play area, we are continuing to have the bakery set up like we did last week, but we also have added a touch of Valentine's. So we've got our Valentine's place settings and we have some Valentine glasses and some fun little head pieces that they can wear. And then the children have already started making some Valentine's that we have hung in the window. In our writing area, we have our little Valentine's mailbox and the children can make little cards and put them inside it. And then I also have some heart-shaped paper and I'm now keeping some clipboards at our writing table as well. And then you can see them, they're kind of standing up in that container there. They love clipboards. And if you have access to clipboards, I can't say enough about them. We introduced them to our two and three year olds last week and they felt like grown-ups. They walked around carrying their clipboards and a marker and some paper, and they were making their little notes and their pictures on them. So it's a great way to work on fine motor skills. And it's, it's actually a lot of fun too. And then we also have our stencils that are tucked in there. That was also introduced last week and they loved them. So we're gonna keep them out again this week. On our light table, I have some heart-shaped containers and I numbered them one through 10 and then we have some foam hearts so they can count the hearts and they can put them right into the containers. And for our younger children, they probably are just gonna enjoy filling the containers up with the hearts, not necessarily counting them, but they're still being exposed to the numbers that are written inside the heart. On our easel, we will have a big paper heart that the children can paint. Our two-year-olds will most likely want to do it together because they absolutely love to paint together. And the three-year-olds usually kind of want to do it one at a time. So we have plenty of these hearts already cut and ready to go, and they will paint them. Um, probably we'll put some white paint and some red paint out, and then when they realize, when they mix the two together, they make a third color, pink. In our sensory bin, I dyed rice pink and purple and a little bit deeper, kind of a red color. And I also got these paper confetti hearts that I absolutely love. And I'll put a link in the description because I will have this bag forever. It is, it's just stuffed with paper hearts. Um, we used them last week in an activity and we're gonna use them in an art activity this week. I'm gonna also put them in a discovery bottle. I'm gonna fill a vase water bottle with water and put some of these in there and hot glue the lid shut so they can shake it around. I actually made one to show you and it sprung a leak. So I don't have to show you today, but you get the idea. Um, it'll be fun for them and I'll have it in, on the windowsill so they can look at the light, the sunshine, if we have sunshine shining through it. 
For our art activity, we are going to take these wooden hearts and we are going to glue the little paper hearts on and then I'm going to take their picture and I'm going to put it on the other side. Um, some of my readers have already commented they noticed that I love doing things with wood. And I didn't even really realize it. It, it just kind of happened. It wasn't intentional, but yeah, I guess I do. And I like that these have, um, I had to look through Amazon. Most of them did not have a little loop to hang, but I finally found them. I'll put a link to these in the description. And I think they're gonna be cute, a fun little keepsake. But again, they can put whatever they want on it. I might even have some little buttons and pom-poms that they can put on there as well. For our Play-Doh, we are going to use these heart-shaped silicone molds. I love these. I got these, I think, three years ago, and we use them for everything. We have used these, we have filled them with water and froze them so we had heart-shaped ice to paint. We have used some to make heart-shaped brownies. We have used these in our sensory bin. We have used these on our light table. Now we're using it for Play-Doh. Seriously, these are awesome and I'll put a link in the description. And I just tuck them away and bring them out every February and they are a huge hit. And I also found some heart cupcake um, toppers that they love to poke into the Play-Doh. And then also we will have several different heart-shaped cookie cutters. Oh, and the little, um, the little placemat is, isn't it cute? One of my co-teachers years ago, she made these. Um, she just, I think she used like little pieces of torn paper to make the hearts and she just put them on thick cardstock and then she laminated them. And again, I love these because you pull them out year after year after year and we have one for each spot at our Play-Doh table. Some of the books that we'll be reading this week is Where is Love, Biscuit, Counting Kisses, and Llama Llama, I Love You. We'll also be reading some books on feelings as well. One of our table activities is something that's mostly geared for our two-year-olds, but um, two-year-olds love pom-poms, and so I, um, this was actually a cherry, uh, um, cherry tomato container in pink, um, and so I saved it because I do that. And I used, put it here and I have a piece of felt underneath it just to kind of make the colors pop a little bit. And, and also it softens the tray. And then they, are, they can transfer the pink pom-poms to the container using the bug tongs. So that's how we have our classroom set up for our feelings theme with lots of Valentines going on as well. Thanks for watching.